Hi guys, so today I'm going to do a really quick tutorial for you on how to do this inverted chevron um, type nail art. So this is the finished design. I've um, alternated each of the colours just to mix it up a bit, but you don't have to do that if you don't want to. So yeah, I'll show you how I did it. So first you want to do is paint all of your nails in one of the colours you choose. So I decided to go for Purple Panic um, by China Glaze, which is this really bright pink. And then what you want to do is let that dry completely and then grab some tape. So for the first nail, I'm going to um, grab a bit of tape like that. I've cut the edge off so it's not kind of jaggedy where you rip it off of the little tape machine. And I'm just going to place it onto my nail like that. And then when you push it down, I bring these two bits of tape round and stick them together and that just secures it really tightly um, onto your nail and stops any of the polish that we're going to paint over the top getting underneath because it's all kind of tightly wrapped around. And then I'm just going to fold that round so I don't stick to everything. And then for my other nail, because I'm alternating the colours, I'm grabbing two bits of tape and you want to place them crossed over on the nail so you want to go I hope you can see that from one corner to the other corner so if you're imagining that your nails were square you're going from like a diagonal and it helps if you bend your finger because then you can kind of get it a bit more secure and then you want to do the same with another piece of tape Like that. So by sticking it those two ways, I can stick with the same colour on the base um, and use the same colour to paint over the top of them all now so that you don't have to kind of think about the colours too much. And my second colour is another China Glaze one and it's called Frostbite. And so for this one, I like to use kind of um, two colours which are really different so it just really shows up. But you don't have to do that if you don't want to. I just think it looks nice to make it really pop. And so you want to grab your polish and you just want to paint over your nails now. So with this one, you've got to be careful to make sure that you get um, all the pink that's showing around the edge so that it doesn't look like you've got pink underneath. And then I'm going to paint the tip of this one. So obviously you don't have to paint all over the nail because you just have to paint kind of just overlapping the tape to make sure you're covering up the bit that is showing. And then on this one you want to make sure you get the tip because you'll be able to see the pink there that was painted underneath. So I'm going to go over and give each of those a second coat. And once you've done that, you can peel your tape off. Like that. So I like to peel the tape off um, while the polish is still quite wet. I find that it works better that way. Um, otherwise, if it kind of starts to dry, you kind of, when you start lifting it up, the bit that's on the tape will start to pull off the polish that's on your nail and you'll get um, a more jaggedy line. So when you've peeled all the tape off you should end up with something that looks like that, so as you can see mine's alternated with the colours. Um, obviously you can do whichever colours you like to do, I just think these colours look quite nice together. I'm going to put a top coat over mine just to seal it all in and also the pink that I use dries really matte so it just kind of gives the pink a nice glossy shine to it as well. So yeah, I hope you like this kind of inverted chevron style nail art design. Let me know what you think and I'll see you guys later. Bye!